Hi everyone, this is Dr. Mata Tarali. I'm a relationship counselor and clinical sexologist. In this video, I have five tips when it comes to anal sex or anal play. The first one is to go slow. It's not about getting it over and done with, to be brave. Uh, when you go slow, listen to your body, you're more likely to speak up when there's pain. You're more likely to reduce the chances of tearing and bleeding. This is so important because with the tearing, it is a gateway for sexually transmitted infection and bacterial transfer. The second tip that I have for you is that you want to incorporate the use of a lubricant. Uh, I recommend silicon-based lubricant because this lubricant stays on the surface of the skin and again helps to make sure everything stays yummy and uh, slippery, less pain. The third one that I have for you is relax into your body, relax into the sensation. Tell your anus, open up, relax. It's also possible when you feel, ten uh, when you feel pain to tense up. So then telling body, relax, relax, relax. So this stop start can be useful as well. Instead of thinking of it as like one big shaft or one time kind of a thing, think of it as try a little bit rest, try a little bit rest. So the body has a chance to ease into that sensation. The fourth tip that I have for you is you can actually massage the external sphincter, meaning the anus, the entrance to the anus. Um, the reason is because the anus is actually a muscle, right? So you, you massage and then it helps with the whole relaxation, the whole uh, feeling that you're not being attacked um, and uh, being more receptive to the whole idea of penetration and play, um, being able to have more pleasure and sensation are all very important. The fifth one that I have for you is very, be very wary of cross-contamination. So cross-contamination meaning the bacteria from the anus going into the uh, vagina or maybe any other parts of the surroundings or body. You want to be mindful of where all this uh, lubricant is uh, ending up. Uh, so you, an idea is you can actually put a condom over your finger uh, if you're using a finger or penis or sex toy, put a condom over it or you can even get finger cords. Uh, they actually protect against um, the direct transfer. So then it's much easier when it comes to clean up because you can just peel it off. So that can help prevent cross-contamination because when the bacteria goes into the vagina, for instance, it can actually really mess up the very delicate pH level of the vagina. So I've just shared with you five tips. The first one is to go slow. Second one, use a lubricant, specifically silicon-based lubricant. The third one is to be as relaxed as possible in the body. The fourth one is consider uh, anal massage. It can really help. And then the fifth one is be mindful of cross-contamination. So this has been Martha doing this video for She The People TV. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos by us.